Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. We are back with another experiment for you guys and today we are going to test out hydrogen tank explosions. So let's get started. All right, so if you have seen my fun with traps short series, we the last trap we've created was some kind of hydrogen explosion with a hydrogen tank full of hydrogen and shooting it down with a auto cannon which caused a rather large explosion. Nothing too crazy. Seemingly one, two, three, potentially four blocks of damage. So I kind of wanted to figure out how far of a distance does a full hydrogen tank can reach in terms of the explosion. Okay, so we have here our test dummy here who will be able to take on the explosions. <laughs> And what we're going to do first is going to kind of test the distance. So I'm going to do slash GPS here. And we'll see that this is already 0.3 meters away. So not the most accurate thing in the world. <laughs> but if we backed it up, maybe 1 meter, 1.5. Or well, some accuracies here, obviously. <laughs> we can see what is the explosion distance. So right where I am is about 5 meters away so we're gonna push myself over and have our dummy stand five meters away from the small hydrogen tank and let's shoot it down and see the explosion radius All right, so it looks like five meter was a particularly safe distance for a small hydrogen tank. So that was interesting. <laughs> As you can see, it almost nicked my test dummy. So my test dummy did take a little bit of damage, not too much, but left me with about 25 HP. So that five meters was enough to damage, but not enough to kill the character in that range. So if we got a, a little bit closer this time, it should probably potentially destroy the character. So instead of five meters, we could go right around here, which is about 3.5, 3.5 would shove them. Yep. Roughly 3.5 ish area and see what that does. <laughs> he dropped the red backpack interesting <laughs> right so it does look like five meters away from the small hydrogen tank was more than enough to survive which was roughly about three large blocks in this case if we're not talking about meters just three large um light armor blocks in this case and with the larger one, let's see what that's going to look like. So let's GPS marker this area, right? And we backed up five from it once again, which would be right over here. I'll say one, two, and the third block right here. So very similar. Right here is the third block. So let's get our test W ready for the next test. All right, dummies in place. Let's get shooting. <laughs> where did he fly to or she fly to? where did she fly to okay quite the distance over there all right so that boom was quite the distance it looks like it covered the distance of well i'm gonna skip this one because the tank was sitting on this and this is part of the tank also you know one two three four five roughly five blocks ahead seems to be a bit of the explosion there so let's try that one more time but this time stand a little bit further away and see if that works out all right so initially we had it standing right here 
and now we're gonna stand right over here which is roughly 13 meters away roughly <laughs> so let's see if 13 meters away is enough distance for the hydrogen tank explosion all right in three two one fire boom and nope <laughs> 13 meters away not sufficient enough all right so roughly 13 meters away was right about here and one two three four blocks away still was not enough i kind of figure it may just be this extra one block this way it might be safe because there's no damage here on the grid itself but still can't say for certain so we're gonna stand right here 15 meters away I really think this might be it, <laughs> the safe zone for this, but I could be wrong. So that's why we're here to find out in three, two, one fire. And nope, not enough once again. And it looks like it pushed back my rover a bit too. So that's interesting. So that's a bit of a shockwave action to it. All right. So it looks like the damage reached all the way over here now. So that's quite interesting. How many block away is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, roughly. All right. We do a rough patching here and we're going to put it again right there okay so before 15 meters away now we're gonna try looks like 17.5 ish right here all right 17.5 let's give it a whirl and i think that's the safe distance right there Test dummy didn't take any damage whatsoever at 17.5. So I think around 17 ish, you might be safe, but you're probably going to take significant damage. So about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks away from the hydrogen tank, not the center of it, but the edges of it. So seven blocks distance is enough to avoid getting destroyed from a hydrogen tank. So thank you very much for the test dummy for letting us find out what is the optimal distance for the explosions. Now, one thing I want to test out is can we chain explosions with these things? So we know for sure warheads, they do not necessarily a chain of explosions, but they do explode in a line, triggering one of them by, by shooting it. So we take all the warheads, let's arm them. And one shot will trigger all the rest of them here. The one shot should trigger each and every one of them as they're all armed. So I just need to shoot down this specific one on the left and see a nifty explosion. Like so. Ah, so it didn't explode the other ones for some reason. That is interesting. Each one of these are armed, but for some reason it didn't do a chain of explosions it's just exploded in the radius of the one i thought it actually does do a radius <laughs> i guess not so that's interesting that it do a chain of explosions so with that kind of not doing anything i'm i'm pretty sure all the other warheads that are here is not gonna explode in a chain as well so i thought I thought that was actually a thing where it would explode everything within the chain of it. So let's try that one more time and see. This time we're going to put them together and not separate away, separate them in any spacings. And also have them armed. So in three, two, one. Yeah, so it doesn't do a chain of explosion. So that's that's really, really interesting. I I really thought. <laughs> It does do a nice chain of explosions. 
So then my experiment with the hydrant is going to be moot. Because if warheads don't do it, I'm pretty sure hydrogen tanks aren't going to do it either. So, however, it's always worth a shot to try it. So we're going to enlist the help of our auto cannon once again. And we're going to shoot this one. And see if it causes a chain reaction. And their answer is no. <laughs> no chain reaction, but there was a bit of a shockwave and pushed our vehicle back a little bit. So that's actually pretty interesting. I actually thought it would have exploded in a chain with the warheads, but I guess that's gone. So maybe I'm going to find a mod to fix that. But luckily that wasn't the meat of the experiment. So... <laughs> But at least we know the safe distance. A small tank, roughly seven, 5 meters. And a large tank is roughly 17 meters away. Alright, so I hope you guys did enjoy this experiment. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.